Get ready for some really useful stuff. How to stop annoying spam calls, emails, and texts. So, are you looking for a super discounted luxury watch or bag that you can only buy today at one particular store? But then again, it's not like you really need any special deals now that you've won the lottery and are one step away from a new life. If any of this sounds familiar to you, you must be one of millions of people worldwide that receive spam. Before you find out how to get rid of unwanted solicitation for good, click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join us on the bright side. Alright, how to stop spam emails. Do you open your inbox to find 203 unread messages, most of which you weren't looking forward to? Huh, you're not alone. According to SpamLaws.com, 45% of all emails are actually spam. That's 14.5 billion messages every day worldwide. So here's what you can do to protect your inbox from all that. Number 1. Set up spam filters. Email clients do take an active part in the war on spam. Most of them automatically detect suspicious-looking messages and send them directly to the spam folder before you ever see them. But you can help the sorting process by confirming or denying the automated spam selection. When you open an email that wasn't marked as spam, hit the Report Spam or Similarly Named button instead of just deleting it. If you find a harmless message in the spam folder, do the opposite and mark it not spam. You can also choose to block certain senders from preventing them from spamming you again. Play around with your email settings to ensure good and accurate protection. Number 2. Protect your email address The easiest way to protect your email is to give it only to people or companies you trust. Create a secondary email to book hotels or shop online and never enter your primary one on public pages, in surveys, or to set up accounts on any websites, except for official purposes. If you absolutely have to share your email, write it the long way. Jane Doe at Google's email service. This way, people will get it, but bots will fail to scan it. In case you don't want to create a whole second account, you can try using variations of your existing address. Gmail, for example, doesn't mind dots, which means that Jane Doe at gmail.com and jane.doe at gmail.com are the same thing to it. You can use this to your advantage by creating a filter that sends messages received at the no dot address to a separate folder. This way, you can type one of the options everywhere online and keep the second one private. You can create this sort of filter in your email settings. 3. Try third-party extensions There are apps for everything these days, and filtering spam is no exception. Most services basically set up a smarter filtering system for your email after you give them the address. These filters will adjust to your own preferences. Some apps also let you report these no-good spammers to internet providers in order to stop their activity. Number 4. Unsubscribe from newsletters What you see as spam out of nowhere could actually be newsletters you've personally subscribed to at one point while shopping online or agreeing to some company's policy without reading it. Yeah, we all do that, don't we? Instead of just deleting all those messages, try unsubscribing from them for good. It'll take some time and effort, since a lot of companies deliberately hide the unsubscribe option in fine print at the bottom of their emails. But it is worth it. Most companies will actually respect your choice and stop sending their newsletters to you. Some email clients help you unsubscribe by finding the magical hidden button and taking it to the top of the page. Then all you have to do is click it and remove all checks in your subscriptions. Services like Unroll.me let you unsubscribe from all newsletters at once by organizing them in one table. 5. Read the message before you even open it Most email services let you preview the beginning of the email. Anything that tells you you've won the lottery, free cars, jewelry, or inherited millions of dollars is most likely to be spam, sorry. The same goes for messages containing misspellings and bizarre wording, punctuation, or formatting. If that's the case, 
don't hesitate to throw it in the spam box. 6. Never click on any links in emails. Whoops! In case you happen to open that spam email, don't take it any further. Only click URLs and emails you're expected to get from a credible source. Even if it comes from your friend, it's better to double-check and ask them if they really sent you something to click on. How to stop spam texts Spam texts are taking up your phone storage and making your cell go crazy every 5 minutes are no less annoying than spam emails. In fact, they're probably more irritating. Fortunately, there are some tips to stop them as well. 1. Never ever reply to them. Predicting how you'll feel about them, spam texters often include something like text stop to be removed from the mailing list in their messages. No, they're not being kind and considerate. It's simply a way to make you respond to the message and confirm you're a real person with an active phone number. Then they'll sell your number to some insurance company or other malicious marketers that will bombard you with more texts and calls. So don't ever respond to spam texts or click any links in them. 2. Forward spam text to 7726 You can help fight spam by reporting those that send it out. All you have to do is forward the unwanted message to 7726. If you try dialing this combination, you'll see that it reads spam. You can do that with most carriers, including giants like AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile. Even if it won't stop spam immediately and altogether, it will contribute to the overall effort of fighting it since the sender will be blocked for good. The more spam texts you report, the more of these senders will have to stop their bad business. Number 3. Block the number The most obvious thing to do when you get unwanted correspondence is to block the sender. Yes, it's a great way to stop one particular number from ever contacting you again. iPhones, Androids, and Windows phones all have this option, even though the way of doing it varies slightly from phone to phone. The only problem with this method is that spamming companies also know about it, so they use many different SIM cards to reach you. Still, it will cut at least one communication channel for them. 4. Opt out of marketing texts Just like with marketing emails, there are texts you receive because you personally subscribe to them once by filling out a form at a store or leaving your phone number online. In this case, but only in this case, you can actually respond to unwanted messages and text stop to the number that's bombarding you with information you don't really need. It's the company's legal duty to be attentive to your preferences and remove you from their mailing list. If that doesn't help, contact the company on their official website or give them a call. How to stop spam calls Number 1. Pick up the phone while ignoring a call from a suspicious or unknown number seems like the best thing to do, it's quite the opposite. But picking it up and screaming at the spammer also isn't an option. What you need to do is answer the call but remain silent. The robots that make the calls wait for a human voice to respond. No matter what you say, it'll work against you since it'll let them know you're a real human being. Then you'll be forwarded to a call center where an operator will try to get your personal and financial details. When you say nothing, the robot will disconnect you in no time. So don't say anything when a stranger calls and wait for them to speak to you. 2. Try the not-in-service method Since spammers hunt for active phone users, make them believe you aren't one. Record the this number has been disconnected or is no longer in service message on your phone and play it whenever spammers call. Just make sure there's no noises or voices in the background. Normally, this will guarantee you're removed from at least one spam calling list. 3. Use a special app. As a smartphone user, you can choose from multiple apps that track and block fraudulent calls. A lot of them are free. Well, some cost a few bucks. You can also simply block all anonymous and private calls 
by dialing star 77. To undo the block, simply dial star 87. 4. Ask them to not call you again. Just like emails and texts, some spam calls come from legit companies that you bought something from or gave permission to inform you of their news. If that's the case, instead of blocking them number by number, just pick up the phone and politely but firmly ask to be removed from their database. So, is spam a serious problem for you? Let us know in the comments below! Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe – not unsubscribe – to stay on the bright side of life. <laughs>